chickpea brownies. So I mentioned chickpea brownies in another video of mine and people want the recipe, so here we go. It's really easy. I like to make my brownies in the blender. You can use a food processor, but the biggest trick to the chickpea brownies, I would say, is make sure that these things are like really processed to where there's no chunks left. You don't want any chunks of chickpeas, okay? So you're gonna take one can of chickpea brown, uh, chickpeas that you've drained, okay? I don't even rinse them. You can rinse them if you want. I ain't messing with it, all right? And then before we get any further, you're gonna make yourself a flax egg. That's what this is, so easy. You're just gonna take, you're gonna take your water. This is gonna be five tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of ground up flax seeds. FYI, if you're looking to get your omega-3s, your omega-6s, and your omega-9s, this is where it's at. Stir that around. Set it to the side. You're gonna to wanna to let that sit for like, I don't know, four or five minutes, it'll thicken up. Back to the chickpeas. We got our chickpeas in the blender. To that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of oil, which is an eighth of a cup. That's a little hot because I just melted it. That's uh, coconut oil. You can use uh, any neutral flavored oil you like. I use coconut oil. The other thing I do is I use half an apple. The reason I use half an apple is it is it's for moisture. You can replace that with the two tablespoons of applesauce, or if you're not watching your fat intake, just do a quarter cup of oil instead of two tablespoons of oil. But I'm always looking for ways to cut the fat out of my my uh, diet. Added added fat is not a naturally occurring thing. You know what I mean? Like. You know, we're, not, we're meant to go pick fruit off of the trees and eat vegetables and stuff like that. We're not meant to eat concentrated fats. So I try to, you know, reduce the fat where I can. Um, but anyway, I'm going to take a half a cup. There's a half a cup of cocoa powder, just regular old cocoa powder. And put that in there. And then you're going to want a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I'm using my Celtic coarse ground sea salt. Because we get all my minerals that way. About a quarter teaspoon. For good measure. You want to measure it out? Go for it. That's how I measure. Uh, let's see. We're going to want a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is not Bacardi. Well, it kind of is. But I make my own vanilla extract out of vanilla beans. Uh, I can do a video on that if you all want. Let me know. But I have to order all the stuff because I need to do it anyway because I'm running low. This is This vanilla was cooking cooking it was extracting for two years before i even opened it and let me tell you what vanilla uh, you're gonna use uh where's my vanilla you're gonna use a half a teaspoon of vanilla and if you make your own vanilla like i do you use like a tablespoon because you can because you have so much of it and it's very cost effective and it tastes way better so i'm gonna put actually Truth be told, I'm going to put about two teaspoons in there. That's about what that was. Um, lastly, you're going to want about a teaspoon. Not lastly, but next. You want about a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon. Put that in there. And uh, let's see, what else are we going to put in there? Ah, we need some maple syrup. Real maple syrup. Don't put corn syrup in it that's got caramel color in it. You want real maple syrup. And we're going to want uh, a third of a cup of that. So here's our one cup measure. We're going to fill that up to a third, which is just under half, but a little bit more than a quarter. We're going to put that in there. That is your sweet. We'll just kind of let that, let that sit there and drain for a second. That's working out pretty good. Uh, and then you're going to want, uh, we're going to need some baking powder. How much baking powder? A teaspoon of baking powder. We don't need a ton of baking powder because these are brownies, we want them to be dense. So about that much baking powder, okay? Worst thing that's gonna happen, brownie's gonna be a little cakey instead of dense if you put too much in there. All right, so we got our maple syrup in there. That's pretty good. Our flax egg, see, it all, it all absorbed in there. It's really thick and dense. We're gonna need a spoon for that. Flax egg, 
See, here's your flax egg. It's real thick. It's kind of like a gelatinous pasty. But anyway, that works like an egg. That's what uh, I use in all of my baking instead of eggs. And you have the benefit of getting your omegas and you got some good healthy fibers in there. A lot of good healthy fiber. You can also do a chia egg. I don't usually use chia, but you can use chia. There we go. We got that in there. Uh, let's see, chickpeas, oil, maple syrup, cocoa powder, flax, baking powder, cinnamon, vanilla, salt. The last thing we're gonna do is some chocolate, but I'm gonna go blend this up and I'll be right back. All right, so we're almost there. There's our brownie batter. We're gonna just scrape down the sides because like I said, you do not want any bits of chickpea left in here, okay? So I scrape my sides down real good and I'm gonna run it through, run it through again. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna, our last ingredient is a dark chocolate chocolate bar. You can use chocolate chips, like dark chocolate chips if you want, but those have like sunflower lecithin and other fillers in them, the chips do. Um, and so I prefer to use something that's got cleaner ingredients which in this case is a dark chocolate chocolate bar. And for the money, Trader Joe's dark chocolate, pretty good stuff. Vegetable knife, this is my favorite knife. This is like the best freaking knife in the world. Okay, so we'll just chop this up, just like a rough chop. We'll set that off to the side. I have an eight by eight pan that I've lined with uh, parchment just because it makes life so much easier. But anyway, we got to get and push the brownie around because the batter's pretty thick. So we'll push it around in all the corners here, like that. And then we're gonna get our chocolate right here. Some big chunks and some little chunks. Sure. All right, this is gonna go in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. I put it in my toaster oven and I usually find that closer to the 30 minute mark works. I'll show y'all when it comes out. All right, y'all. There's your chickpea brownies. Looks pretty good, right? These are healthy for you. These are rich in fiber, protein. So let's plate it up. Now, normally I would serve this with a little bit of uh, vanilla cashew ice cream, but I don't have that. So we're gonna do a little bit of uh, chocolate syrup there. We all think. How's that look? Hmm? That works for me. All right, I'll put the recipe in the comments um, if it'll all fit, or in the description, recipe in the description if it'll all fit. All right, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, try it out. If you try it, send me a message or comment on this video and let me know how it worked out for you. I'd really appreciate it. Um, all right, enjoy.